let's take a look at how to make a pop-up and light up card. Here's what one could look like. You can see the LEDs on the inside. Let's see what materials we're going to need. You're going to need some cardstock, markers, scissors, copper tape, a 3 volt coin battery, a casing for the battery, and the LED lights, which you can all get on sparkfun.com. You can use liquid electrical tape, or you can use solder, depending on what you have. First, you're going to need to cut your cardstock in half. This will give you two sides to a smaller style card. Once you've cut them in half, you're going to fold one side in half again. And you'll cut two slits in the sides of the card that will turn into your pop-up section. If you fold the inside section the opposite way, that will turn into the pop-up. Once you've completed that, you're going to use your pop-up as a template to make a section for your circuit on the other piece of cardstock. This just gives you an area that you know you can work in. Once you've done that, place your battery casing and LEDs into your template. This will help you decide where your copper tape needs to go. I'm putting little dots in each of the connections on my battery casing and my LED to help me find a good route. Make sure that you attach the positive and negatives on the right side. If you connect them incorrectly, you'll have a short circuit. I labeled mine to make sure. And now you need to connect the dots so you can see where your tape is going to go. This is my negative side. This is my positive side. Make sure not to cross your sides or your LEDs will not light. Once you've done that, you can attach your tape. It is okay to overlap tape as long as it's on the correct side. Make sure your battery casing and your LEDs can connect to your tape. If you have any problems, you'll need to reset your tape. While you're checking, make sure nothing overlaps. And that everything touches. If you're using solder, the first thing you're gonna do is connect where the tape overlaps. I have four overlaps on my tape, three on the positive side and one on the negative side, so I need to connect in three different sections. You should only need a drop or two of solder to connect them. Be careful using the soldering iron and the solder. Once that's connected, you're going to attach your battery casing and your LEDs. Again, make sure everything is touching the copper wire. You'll place the solder inside the connection and put a few drops in each place. Again, be very careful.
when working with small spaces, take your time and try not to hold the iron too long on each spot. You don't want to burn the paper. Once everything is connected, you can insert your battery. If you flip the switch, your light should come on if everything's connected. Once you're sure everything's connected well, you can glue the front side of your pop-up onto your card. I suggest decorating and cutting out any sort of um, decoration first before you attach. and your template should help you line up with the pop-up perfectly. Here's my finished card. I hope you enjoyed the video.